We're back with baby Ariel, everyone. Um, we decided we're gonna do a kind of like added episode. How do I ask my mom to get on birth control? <gasps> Good question. Oh my gosh. I just um, texted my mom one day. You texted your mom? Yeah. And were you just, what, basically like, what did you say? And how was she like, well, receiving it? I think it was like, because of this relationship, I was like, okay, it's a serious relationship, blah, blah, blah. Like, I needed, I'd like to get on birth control yeah. just for my own, you know. And it's obviously, yeah, that's what's recommended. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I mean, I'm honestly lucky, though. I've always had a close relationship with my mom, and she's always mm-hmm. been, like, she's, like, the more honest you can be. And she's always been very accepting of anything I come to her yeah. with. And we've always had open conversations about, yeah. like, sex and boy like the whole relationship yeah. and all that thing so I got lucky in that way yeah same but I think just being as honest with her as possible yeah basically I one when I got on it it was because I had just like recently lost my virginity mm-hmm. and I told my mom and she was like okay well when you get back to LA like let's make you a doctor's appointment and let's go talk to her Right. So it's kind of like my mom's idea because it was like, um, she was like, okay, well, stop what you're doing now and like, let's regroup when you're back. <laughs> and I was like, okay, yes, yes, whatever you say. And yeah, I went and the doctor was like, well, if you're being sexually active, um, we recommend you getting on birth control. And I feel like I have a, like, I now have a little, like, resentment towards birth control since I've been off of it for, like, seven months. I saw you've been off off it, yeah. Yeah, and I feel like it really affects women. And It does. I honestly don't really, like, it does, it's it's great for what it does. Mm -hmm. It prevents pregnancy for 99.99%. And there's other ways that you can obviously take birth control. There's pills, there's shots, there's... There's, like, the, the implant. There's yeah. the inside, like, yeah. ring or something. Yeah. I don't even know. The Nuvo. And basically, I've just done so much research since I've been off of it. And it's, like, the other things that come along with it, I'd basically rather not have sex. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's basically where I'm at. It's, like, I just, I would much rather, I, I, I will, like, be swerving everything. You'd be swerving we're in L.A. I mean, these boys. These boys. These <laughs> girls. I mean, everyone. It's not mm-hmm. even, it's, like, it's... There's a lot of things to look out for. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I've just, I, I, sure, I get a little acne now because I'm not, like, on a hormonal pill. What's weird is I, like, haven't been on my birth control for, like, because I have, it, like, I ran out and I have to go make a doctor's appointment now. So Mm. it's been, like, three weeks I've been a doctor's appointment. But um, I have less acne now. Off yeah. for con- off oh. for birth control. Oh, you're off it. Yeah, for, like, three weeks. I need to go back. Oh. But, like, for, like, I have less now than when I was on birth control, which is really weird. Mm. Yeah, mine was opposite. I don't have any cramps now. Mm-hmm. I don't have, like, I mean, my period is very, um, it's very on time. I'm, like, they say after, like, six months, like, you're kind of pretty much back to normal. So did you get your period on birth control? Yes. You did? See, mine stopped completely. Oh, wow. What, what are you on a pill? I'm Yeah, I'm on, like, which is one thing why I, I like I like mine. It's like low, low estrogen, estrogen. which is called. Right, I'm on. I was on Trilosprin Tech. Okay, I don't know that one. Was <laughs> it like high estrogen? I don't even know to be honest. Mine was like low, low, low estrogen, which is why I don't think I had as much mm. of like it wasn't Symptoms. as bad. You're right. Yeah, that's what I was like. If I have to go back on it again, I'd rather not. Mm-hmm. But I would definitely like do a lot more research. Um, they say that the shot gives you a lot less. Uh, symptoms okay. but it also will make you gain a lot of weight and everything but yeah i mean that's yeah, enough. each one has their thing yeah yeah that's enough birth control talk but <laughs> honestly how we we both just like talk to our mom about it we to, and we yeah. just like i think that i should and honestly i feel like your mom will find a lot of respect out of that i agree and it's, it's gonna a be a lot thing worse to do. If you had to have another conversation with your mom. So exactly. just have the birth control. Conversation. Conversation. That's a better conversation. It's a better conversation. Are you a rebel like me? Do you have a rebellious spirit about you? Well, guess what, girl? Warby Parker is just the thing for us. And the quality of the glasses is insane. I've bought glasses that were so expensive that are nowhere near the quality of the Warby Parker ones. Warby Parker is committed to providing exceptional vision care online and in stores, offering eyeglasses, sunglasses, eye exams, and 
and contact lenses. Glasses start at $95, including prescription lenses. Try Warby Parker's free home try-on program. Order five pairs of glasses to try at home for free for five days. There's no obligation to buy. Ships free and includes a prepaid return shipping label. Try five pairs of glasses at home for free at warbyparker.com slash Jordan. Their whole system is so cool. You take a quiz, you get a home try-on kit, and you get to try on glasses and see which ones you like. And then, like I said, you get to ship it back if you don't want it and there's no obligation to buy anything. My favorite look is like the clear nerdy glasses look. They have anything for anyone, but that's my favorite look on their site is like clear and nerdy like, almost like a sunglass. But um, I just find that it like suits my vibe and it kind of goes with every outfit, but they have something for everybody. Again, try Warby Parker's free home try on program. Order five pairs of glasses to try on at home for free for five days. There's no obligation to buy. Once again, ships free and includes a prepaid shipping label. You can literally try five pairs of glasses at home for free at warbyparker.com slash Jordan. How do you handle F boys? <gasps> uh, love them. I know. Love them so much. They're just wonderful. <laughs> you run straight towards them. Yes. <laughs> please, please love me. <laughs> um, I just have this thing in my head where I think that I can just change an f boy i'm a fixer i've always been a fixer fixer. (laughs) i'm like great you need me i am what you've been missing (laughs) no you have to remember no you can't you can't (laughs) you can't girl (laughs) just kidding just kidding you can't i tried a long time ago fixing Mm -mm, doesn't work Mm. like when they're ready to change they'll change no but i'm still a fixer which is a problem yeah honestly how do you handle them? I mean, like, if there's just guys that are just trying to hit you up and do this and do that, like... Don't get emotionally involved. Just... Yeah, yeah, stay emotionally unavailable. Right, leave it at that. Let them come, just let them text you. Don't start. Yes, if, as soon as you are trying to, I don't know, I just, I just stick with, like, if he wanted to, he would, and I feel yes. like that really even helps an F-boy situation, mm-hmm. because girls will fall and, like, hit up and make plans and blah, blah, blah to, like, an F-boy. Right. But you just got to, like, let them come to you. Yeah, you have to. And also when they're, like, mature enough to be in a relationship, too. Because if they're, yeah. like, if you like them who they, like, who they are, but they seem like they're just in this, like, party phase and blah, blah, blah. Like, give it time. Be like, okay, like, when it's right. Like, yeah. It'll be right. You don't want to, you don't even, think about it if you were in a relationship with him at the stage that he's at. Would you want to be in a relationship no, with him? Right. you wouldn't. Yeah. So, hold it out, but don't let him have basically the best of both worlds if you want to ever mm-hmm. see a relationship with him. I would say just, like, keep your distance, let him grow up, and they're going to be thinking, how do I handle her? Exactly. How can I, so you just got to, like, flip the script. Flip the script. How to handle heartbreak. <gasps> Oh, my God. <laughs> so sad. My, like, first breakup was, like, the worst thing in the entire world because I've never Same. experienced a... I didn't know... I, you was, think your world is literally going to end? Everything is over. And we were dating for, like, eight months. Yeah, like, I was year. six. Yeah, it was, like, oh, my God, everything. But the first thing, I think surrounding yourself as much as you can with family and like I remember I was yes. in bed and I was crying and I remember my friend texted me was like get up we're going to the beach and I was like I'm not going and he was like no get and like forcing yourself as much as it sucks I'd say give yourself like two days my mom said like she's like give yourself two days to rest Ariel cry do whatever you want but after that we're getting up we're making a schedule for you yeah you're going to the beach schedule is very important a schedule because it's like you can't stop your life for something that's like not worth it exactly because the breakup isn't worth it but the relationship might be the person might be your mental health is for sure but like what that exact moment is you're gonna forget about not you're gonna forget about it but like it's not gonna be worth that like down bad energy right for so long i feel like it is really important to feel your feelings Mm -hmm. but surround yourself like she said with plans with outings with things to do hour by hour literally have things to do like at least shower start with that <laughs> like get get up and get smelling good mm-hmm. personal hygiene is important like we said personal, your teeth 
brush your teeth. I'm sure we're all in the same boat with how crazy the past couple years have been and how different life really is now. Everyone is in the same boat. We have so many questions. Everyone has so many emotions. And the thing that has really helped me has been to talk to people. And Cerebral is an online mental health service that offers prescription medication, counseling, and therapy for anxiety, depression, ADHD, insomnia, and more. Cerebral is one of the few services that provides prescription medication online through a licensed provider and ships medication straight to your door. And it's great because they let you skip the pharmacy lines. With the Cerebral mobile app, it's like having your personal care team wherever you are. You can message your care team and access self-care resources wherever you are. And this is super cool. Simone Biles is their chief impact officer. She's a huge advocate for mental health and reducing stigma around getting treatment. And what I love about it, and as well as something that's so good for obviously Simone Biles, where you go a million places a day, you can talk to your therapist wherever you are. And for listeners of my podcast, you can receive 65% off your first month of medication management and care counseling at Cerebral.com slash Jordan. Go to Cerebral.com slash Jordan for 65% off your first month. And that's a total of $30 to get started. Join Cerebral today on their mission to make quality mental health care accessible and affordable for all. We're going to do would you rather questions and we'll both answer their deep hard questions so everyone and you're 22 also can you guys oh yeah i am hey i'm 22 <laughs> um comment down below your guys's answers to these questions too i want to know like let's chat let's talk in the comments today yeah. i'm feeling i'm feeling chatty i'm feeling chatty all right, number one is you. would you give up social media or eat the same dinner for the rest of your life? Oh, my God. I love eating the same dinner. dinner. <laughs> like, literally. Obviously. I, I rotate meals. There's, honestly, like, four. Honest, no, me too. I, I'm a person. What's the word? What's creature the, of habit. Creature freak of habit. Of, freak, creature, freak. creature of habit. I am such a creature of habit. I have, like, my same. I've yeah. got easy. Easy. I I will do that without the would you this, rather. This, Yeah. Would you rather lose all your money you've earned this year or lose all your memories you gained this year? Oh, I'd rather lose all my memories. I'm so sorry, my memories. What month is it? It's March. I can, it's fine. You were saying by March, it's only March? It's only March. I mean. <laughs> wait, I've had, wait. I've had really good memories this really? year. Wait, no, 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 no. No, 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 I'd rather lose my money. What did I'd I rather lose my year? money I earned this year. I, how much I money, had... real estate, did I I actually had, like, the best three months. Really? Okay, you don't want to lose that. I don't want to lose that. Maybe I'll... <laughs> now I feel bad. Okay, I can say... I can... <laughs> I'd lose my money. It's my... <laughs> but, like, if it was all of last year, I would have wanted to keep, keep my... <laughs> the entire year, keeping the money. Keeping the money. <laughs> but Jordan's three months <laughs> were keeping them. We're keeping them. We have to. Shout out to the people in my life right now. Would you rather have no taste or be colorblind? I'd rather be colorblind. I th it's not that bad. I think I'd be – only because I had COVID. <laughs> yeah, guys, colorblind is not <laughs> – I just know Stop people that are like, I'm colorblind, and then they have to, like, change. It's like, change. shut up. <laughs> it's like, Stop. You're not cool. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had COVID, and I lost my taste yeah. and smell for, like – oh, my God, it was terrible. Oh, really? I never want to do it again. It was so I was bad. only like four days I lost my taste. Really? Yeah, you just like smell essential oils and it brings back all your like. I did not know that. <laughs> I was stuck. <laughs> How long you think? I lost mine for like all of, so like two weeks. I had I lost it. Oh. Okay. Which wasn't that, but I hated it. Yeah, no, that's trash. So, yeah. But also, I, would, I love color. I don't know. Like my friend who's colorblind, he has to like put a setting on his phone and then he can like see everything. Oh, so there's ways around it. There's ways around it. Okay. Yeah. I fine. guess it 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 comes a lot into play when you're like trying to figure out an outfit or you know what sucks is i no i can't say that no go <laughs> basically there's like this like there's this guy that one time was like colorblind and i was like he he just like, couldn't put an outfit together basically and he was like, well, I can only see, like, vibrant colors or something like that right so he would just be like a highlighter all day every day and it was just a lot <laughs> That's adorable. Oh, would you rather know the date of your death or cause of your death? I would rather know the cause. I think the cause, too. Because I would avoid that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think I would never, if it was sharks, never, I could just not do that. <laughs> you really think it would be sharks? <laughs> I don't um, know. The, I think I, if I knew the date of my I'd, death, it's like. No, I, to be honest, I'm such a hypochondriac that I think that if I knew how I was going to die, I would live every day, like, on eggshells. 
You're right. That's a, yeah. And like, I would make the most out of my life if I knew the date. Well, I really just did a 180. Right. Yeah. You spin. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm very indecisive because I'm already trying to go back to the other one, but we're just going to stay there. Stay there. <laughs> so, what's yours? I don't know. I think the cause, I don't know if I'd want to know the date because then I think I'd be just. But <laughs> Imagine also, it's like tomorrow. I know. No. But you made a good point. Dear God. You made a good point. I think I'd want to know the cause, just so I can get that out of the way, and I'd be like, okay, and then I could live Live life. life. Yeah. Flip a coin for a chance to win twenty dollars and meet. Wait, twenty dollars, or immediately win ten. Flip a coin. I'm sorry. Wait, hold on. Would you rather flip a coin to win twenty dollars, like heads or tails, or would you rather immediately just be given ten dollars? I'd rather flip a coin. Really? Mm -hmm. I have good luck. I think I do the ten. I think. So you're like a safe. I'm safe. You're a safe girl. I'm a safe girl. girl. But to me, it's like if I flip it, then it's either – like I'd rather leave with something. I'd rather – if it's zero, mm. you know, I'd rather just – because if it does land on the other one, then it's I like, like I'm not getting anything. Chances. No, you're a risk taker. I'm a risk taker. I'll do the 10. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do the 10. All right. Always hit a red light for the rest of your life or always get slow internet after the sun goes down. Wait. Say that whole thing. <laughs> Would you rather always hit the red light? Right. Oh, or have slow internet after the sun goes, goes down? down. There's <gasps> nothing worse than slow internet. Internet. I also don't drive, so oh, I just, don't. I'm I'm like a passenger seat driver, so I think I'm fine <laughs> with the, just hitting the red light. Yeah, I'll hit the red lights. Yeah. No. No. That Wi-Fi is slow, like, I will be in a bad mood. It just, it just, it's so annoying because the, the, I'm so spoiled nowadays with, like, 5G, LTE, towers, everything going right. so fast. Mm-hmm. When it doesn't work or when you go, hey, Siri, call brother, and it goes, one sec, still working it's on like, that. It's like, stop no. it, Siri. No. Work quicker. I don't <laughs> want it. Like, that happened today, and I, like, wanted to just, like, See, I don't get mad at anything, but technology pisses me off. Uh-huh. When it doesn't work. When, it when doesn't work. When you need work. it to work in that moment. Oh, when any when you need that thing to just happen and it doesn't happen. No. It's so spoiled of me to say, but, like, it's so true. That's okay. I'll hit the red light. <laughs> Have the lights on or off if you knew the room was full of snakes. On. 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 <laughs> Gotta see that coming. Wait, why would anybody want it off? Maybe to not see what's going on. You just hear... But then, like, how would you be able to defend yourself? On. Dude, I was just watching Jackass. There's <gasps> Is a... it the new one? Yeah, it's I wanna so funny. I want to see it. I want to see it. There's a part where they... Yeah, never mind. But you should watch it, and... It was good. It's going to make you want to have the lights on. <laughs> on. Yeah, why would you not want to see? I don't know. Weird people. Be the person who flips the switch during executions or be the judge who decides who should be executed. What? So either you're killing someone or you're deciding who's getting killed. Oh, my God. So it's the same thing. Probably deciding because maybe you don't have to be in the room or you don't have to actually be the cause, really. Right. I think I decide. Yeah. Right. Because I can just say no to to people. To everyone. Yeah. (laughs) You're like... So you, you get life you, you in prison. You look actually cute today. I know. You can just get life in prison, but you're not. You're fine. <laughs> Would you rather go blind or deaf? Mm. Oh, my God. I don't know. I think deaf. I think but deaf. Because so, you can literally read your phone. I know, now. yeah. You can, and, like, like read to watch everything. movies, you can just read the subtitles. Oh, true. Oh, yeah. I have to see. Yeah, you have to see. Like, but, I mean, if like... you were blind, though, you could take... Well, I guess you could put a hearing, hearing aid on, and you could put contacts on. You could probably make yourself not blind. But I don't know if you can really make yourself not, not deaf. Well, they have hearing aids, That's right? That's what I said, but, like, does it... Does it really work, guys? I don't know. I, I, I don't have one of those, so I don't know. Me neither. <laughs> be married to someone good-looking who doesn't think you're attractive or be married to someone ugly who thinks you're gorgeous. Oh, God. I, who thinks I'm gorgeous? Thinks I'm yeah. go- I want to feel pretty. pretty. <laughs> I don't think... If I was feeling like someone was degrading me... I'd leave that guy. I would leave him. There's many, like, beautiful people out there. You don't need that person no. who, like... Makes you feel terrible about yourself. So true. <laughs> win twenty five thousand dollars or have your best friend win a hundred thousand dollars. I'd rather have my best friend win a hundred thousand because because we're splitting. Yeah. 
I get 50 now. I get 50 now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's so true, honestly. They didn't think about it like that. You're like always trying to find your own way. <laughs> um, work a high paying job that you hate or your dream job where you only have money for your basic necessities. Probably a high paying job that I hate. Now that I, think I like so too. have a little bit of money, like I was just talking to my friend the other day. It's like it's like this like workaholic kind of thing when you have it, you never wanna not have it. Like I mean I obviously this is like a bad representation because I, I do this but mm-hmm. it's like a mentality thing if you've ever flown first class you don't want to be at the back of the plane again Mm-mm. or if you cut the line at Disneyland you don't want to wait again. I have that problem yeah <laughs> so it's just like I'd rather have a high paying job where I can do all that exactly and I think once you have even if you hate it like you're making the money to to set yourself up for a future where you could retire and yes. then do the things that you want to do yes Oh, uh, let's do, like, two more questions. Okay, yeah. Would you rather look at your – oh, wait. Let your parents access your browser history or your boss? Well, I'm my um, boss. Me too. So if myself. I <laughs> – Myself needs to look at my browser history, that's so fine. So fine. <laughs> Go – oh, get a text from a one-night stand that says I'm pregnant or – and I have an STD text. We were just talking about this in last week's episode. Go check it out right. if you missed it. <laughs> um, hmm. I don't know. Probably. I think the STD. Oh, an incurable STD. Sorry, oh. I missed that word. Oh, God. That's a thinker. That's a thinker. Because um, then the STD is like, are you never like, it's if it's uncurable. Well, okay, there's a lot of things because if you're if you're basically married to that person you're just having sex with that one person and say like y'all gave no, it to each other then it's or like we like, live with it together. Or like y'all wear like a condom for the rest of your life. Right. Or like I think the S T D But I, also I feel like there's a chance you could give your to your kids, right? Is that a thing? Oh my god. I don't I just really think so. Is that a thing? I think it's like maybe a thing. Where, like, it, you have to be care Like, sometimes it happens. You have to be careful. I don't so know. The- I, I, I think an STD text. Me too. Only because, like, if it's a one-night stand. Oh, true. It is. A- oh, yeah. Right. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, you have to parent with this person? No. <sighs> no, I'm good. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Last question. Yeah. Would you rather always be 20 minutes late for important events or always be two hours early to everything <gasps> else? Probably 20 minutes late to important events. I think I am. Yeah, I think, I think, yeah. I, I think so, too. Because two hours, those are two hours of your life that you could be doing something else. Why are you going to sit there and just. <laughs> yeah, I'm good with that. I think. Yeah. All right. Well, that's the end of this episode. Again, so go fun. check out last week's episode. Right, go watch it, guys. Um, anything that you want to say in this episode? I don't know. Thank you for having me. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Make sure to rate us five stars on Apple Podcasts. Check us out on YouTube and add us to your Spotify playlist. And follow Baby Ariel on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Bye.